Hi, everybody. Have you ever asked yourself, when do I use a context filter? When don't I use a context filter? Why didn't that con fil context filter do what I want? Well, today we're going to take a look at when you use context filters, how they're used, and how they affect the creation of sets, fixed LODs, and top end. Now, to understand how they work, we have to take a look at the order of operation. And the order of operation is nothing more than the sequence Tableau goes through every time you create a worksheet. Context filters are third in the order of operation. They immediately precede the creation of sets, fixed LODs, and top end, which are in step four, and dimension filters are, are applied afterward. Very simply, if you want the filter to affect the creation of the sets, the fixed LODs, the top end, apply it in context. If you do not want it to affect the creation of the fixed LOD, the sets, or the top end, apply it as a dimension filter. Very often users will say, I want to create a calculation that ignores the filter. Tableau does not ignore any of your filters or any of your data. You, as a designer, decide when to apply that filter and how it will affect the creation of the fixed LODs, the top end. Now, let's take a look as, at a, an example, because it's easier to see. Uh, this is just Superstore data, and all I've done is looked at the sales by category or by subcategory and then totaled it at the subcategory level. And the, the total for furniture is 754,000 and the total for office supplies is 731 and so on. I've created a fixed LOD and this fixed LOD just looks at the category level and it says, okay, at the category level, total the sales. And you can see for, furniture, uh, for the furniture category, the 754 fixed LOD is in each one of these uh, cells. Office supplies is 731 and technology is uh, uh, 839. I added one additional calculation and that just determines the percent of total. And uh, it's just nothing more than the sum of sales or it's this value divided by that value. So these will total 100%. Now we're gonna come back and we're gonna apply a filter. And I'm gonna start with that filter on subcategory in context. I know it's in context because it's a great filter. So that filter is going to be applied in context before the LOD is calculated. And when I apply that filter, and I'm going to filter out binders, when I filter out binders, I can remove binders and the values have changed for our fixed uh, calculation for office supplies. The total sales are $524,000 and the fixed LOD is $524,000 and these still total 100, 100%. And that's because we filtered out binders before we calculated this value for the fixed LOD. I could come back and I could say, no, no, I don't want that filter to affect the LOD. I want that LOD calculated before or before the uh, filter is applied. So I'm gonna remove it from context and now it becomes a blue filter or a dimension filter. And that dimension filter is applied down here in step five after the LOD is calculated. And when I do that, the total for the fixed LOD is 731,000. It is not affected by this filter. It was calculated before this filter was applied. By taking out binders, the total for office supplies is 524,000 or 71% of the 731,000. We have determined when to apply that filter by using a context filter. We can do the same sort of thing looking at uh, the top end calculation. And all I've done here is I've created a set based on a parameter. And I just wanna show you the set. The set itself is a top end set. I have a parameter N for top end, and I've set it to five. I want I want the top five categories. And I'm just gonna look at the values that are in the set. Uh, right now, I haven't filtered the set at all. There's all 17 subcategories are in the set, but I'm going to filter the set and I'm gonna apply uh, that filter, the subcategory, as a context filter before the top end are calculated. So right now we've got five subcategories in our top end. We've got chairs, tables, binders, storage, and phones. And I'm going to filter out binders, just like I did before, 
And now I end up with five, I still have five categories, subcategories in the top end, but they're chairs, tables, storage, machines, and phones. That's because we filtered out binders before we calculated the top end, so we still have five. Machines has replaced binders because binders weren't part of the calculation that determined the top end. If I had applied the filter in context or after the top end were calculated, we'd come back and we'd only see four subcategories in the top end, chairs, tables, storage, and phones. Binders were that fifth category. I'm going to put it back in for just a second. You can see that binders are in there now. I can filter it out, and we filtered it out after the top end calculated. So the, the rule here is very simple. If you want the filter to apply to the fixed LOD, the top end or sets, apply it as a context filter. If you don't want it to apply, you want to open you want to apply it after the fixed LOD top end and uh, sets are calculated. Apply it as a dimension filter or a blue filter. Thank you very much for your time.